Hi, I'm Mary Lambert. I'm part of the LGBTQ community and I'm also part of the Christian community. We made so much progress in this country, but we're still fighting for love, inclusion, and equality in our homes and our churches. In many Christian churches, we're still being told that being gay is a sin and that we're unworthy of God's love. So I couldn't be more passionate about this life-changing project that's seeking to set the record straight. The first time that the word homosexual entered the Bible was 1946, when the RSV translation team erroneously combined two independent words and resulted in a historical and current condemnation of a group of people. Two consenting adults that love each other is not a sin, but many Christians still believe that. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals shall inherit the kingdom of God. I went into this research wanting the answer no matter what it revealed. If God said, you are such a horrible abomination that I needed to rid this planet of myself, I was willing to do that because I love God that much. But when I dug in, that's not what I found. We didn't know what we were going to find when we dug into the RSV notes. It was a letter written by a 21-year-old seminary student to the translation team saying, hey, I think you chose the wrong word when you put the word homosexual in here. He says, I write this after many months of serious thought and hard work to point out that which to me is a serious weakness in translation. Misinformed and misguided people may use the RSV translation of 1 Corinthians 6, 9, and 10 as a sacred weapon. He wrote the letter as David S. We found him and he's still alive. So I wrote a letter and to my amazement, I got a reply back about three weeks later. I received your letter and uh, there may be something to, to what you say. The domino had already fallen and that word followed through to all the other mainline translations that we have today. I started weeping because I was thinking about all the damage that had been done over the last 60 years. The lifestyle of some male homosexuals has triggered an epidemic. The Bible be... condemns homosexuality as a sin. Why did they put the word homosexual into the Bible? What were they thinking? The church is doubling down on this issue because they've so politicized it. We're going to do the work to make this thing right. This shows that there was a mistake, and it's an honest mistake, and we have an opportunity to change it. I believe love will win. I believe that we will be living in a time where we won't even have to talk about this, right? It won't even be a matter of an issue, but those who have the power to do something about it right now ought to. Please help us finish this movie so we can spread the truth and create this powerful tool for love and justice. It will save lives.